Hi, have you ever wondered about what skills you can transfer from one world to another? Let's say you're a graphic designer and you're advancing to becoming an Android developer. What skills you can take with you to your next role or your next career? I'll be giving you the soft skills that one can use in each and every tech career. The skills I'll be discussing are not only for people in tech, so if you have a friend uh, or anyone who is interested in elevating their career to the next level, then feel free to invite them to watch this episode with you because these are the soft skills that we need so that we can advance in our careers. The very first skill you need to have is teamwork. One thing you have to know is that you can never accomplish something alone. For example, I'm doing vlogging, but I need you guys. I need you guys to watch so that this community can grow. I cannot do this on my own. I cannot create and watch my own content over and over again. So you need people to work with in each and everything you do. If you're a um, graphic designer, then you need people who will appreciate your work. You need people who will help you correct your mistakes and help you in one way or another. So one thing you have to know is you have to learn how to collaborate with people. The other soft skills that most people normally undermine, but it's a very crucial soft skill is communication. Communication ranges from being verbal, non-verbal and written communication. As a profession in whatever you're doing, uh, at this point we're talking about people in tech, you need to know how to actively respond to people, read their actions, know what to answer when, and know how to respond to people. Let's take an example of your a website designer. Um, a client asked you to create for them a commercial website. Uh, from what the client explained to you, you understood that they wanted a commercial website, and uh, you started working on it. And when they come to see how far you've gone with the project, they say they actually wanted a personal website. As someone who has studied about communication and knows how to communicate according to your role, then you're supposed to know how to handle this kind of person. You're supposed to know how you're going to tell them that this is what you explained to me and this is what I actually understood. And it will be a good thing of you to learn how to communicate rather than frustrating that client. Okay, the other undermined soft skill is time management. Um, there is a common saying, that goes by Africans are not good at managing time, but I believe this can be changed. If someone tells you that um, they want to meet you, maybe to discuss about a certain project by 10, then make it a point to be there before 10 so that 10 can actually find you at the venue. Don't be this kind of person, be like, ah, I'll go a few minutes up after 10. The person who wants me has to be there last and um, stuff like that. Be good at managing your time. Uh, in case the other person delays, then they can easily communicate you. Or in case you delay, then it will be easy for you to communicate to the person instead of showing up very late, which is kind of disgusting. One other skill that you really have to take note of is patience. You have to be patient in each and everything you do. Nothing will come easy, nothing will come as expected. You just have to set goals, follow them up do everything necessarily and just wait for the outcomes. You don't have to pressurize yourself in case you're working on something and you just have to be patient with each and everything you do. The very last skill every person should have is problem solving. This is just one's ability to solve a problem just like it is problem solving. It's one's ability to solve a problem. Now, here is an example. You're a network administrator and someone in a, an organization or company work at came to you telling you that maybe their laptop crashed. Yes, we understand a network design is only supposed to do something related to networks and stuff, but as someone who is into, as someone who has skills in problem solving, then you're not supposed to tell this person that you're only concerned with networks, because, but you just have to tell them how they can work on their computer, or in case you have the skills, then you can just help them solve their problem instead of telling them, I'm not supposed to be doing this. You can apply this skill in very many aspects of life, so have it in your mind, be creative, learn how to solve day-to-day -day problems, and you'll be good to go. The very last thing I have to tell you guys is that these skills are very essential and recruiters are looking out for these kind of skills. You're going to be having the hard programming skills, the, the all the technical skills necessary, but if you don't have these soft skills, then I can assure you that you're going to get the job. So work on both the hard and soft skills then. You'll be good to go. Otherwise, thank you so much for always watching and sharing my videos. I appreciate all the kind of support you guys show me. And remember to always share your feedback in the comment section. Then you can also reach out to me. Links to my social media platforms are attached in the bio. And remember to subscribe just in case you haven't. Thank you so much.